Welcome to another Sci-Fi Ship Control tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing ship docking. Docking contains two major components. A docking station where ships dock and a docking script which allows spaceships to dock with a station. A docking station can have multiple docking points. I have a hanger from our Tech Demo 2. However, you can use whatever assets you like. Start by adding a ship docking station component to a hangar. A station can have one or more docking points where the ships will land or take off from. I'm just going to turn off the exterior of our hangar so we can get a better view of where the docking points will be. Let's add our first ship docking point and we'll move around a bit to see where it has to be placed. And when you're happy with it, let's just add another docking point by using the small insert button on the right. So we're going to insert a duplicate of this docking point and then we're going to move it maybe onto the right for our second ship. To select a docking point, we can either, either select it in the scene or we can use the small find button in the inspector. If we want our ships to dock at different angles, we can just adjust the rotation. but we'll just leave ours in a default position. For AI ships, our docking station needs to have some exit and entry paths, and we create them with SSC Manager. Start by going to the Path tab, and let's create an exit path. And we're going to call that Hangar Exit Path. We could have multiple exit paths, but we're just going to share the same one for each docking point. So I'm going to just click in the scene and say append location to active path. And we'll move it over a little. And then we're going to right click. We're going to right click again and say extend the path. We're going to pull our second path point out. Now you'll notice we're missing the path itself because we haven't got gizmos turned on. So let's just go up and turn on gizmos, and I'm going to adjust the tangents a little. Let me move this one up. We're going to add another point, extend path. You can adjust the tangents and maybe we'll have him flying up a bit more and out. We could select all our points on the path and maybe hold shift key down and just move our path over a little bit. Now we're going to create a second path, our entry path. 
and we're going to call this one Hangar Entry Path or we'll just unselect all those other points We want our entry path to start away from the hangar. So let's append a new location. Uh, extend it out again, and this time we're going to extend them towards the hangar. I we'll need to adjust our tangents as well. And we want a third part, third location, so we're going to extend the path again. When we're happy, we can stop editing our path and come back to our docking station. For each of our docking points, we're going to configure the paths. So we'll set our entry and exit paths on the f and then we'll go over to the other point and we'll configure those as well. We have two ships now seen. The MPC Vectra ship and the MPC Explorer ship. We'll hook up our Vectra ship to the camera and each ship needs to have a ship docking station script and a ship AI input module because our ships are going to be controlled by the ship AI. Now our ships need to have the correct thrusters as well so because we have six degrees of freedom we want to actually have a lift off, a landing, a left and a right uh, thruster. Although we could set up everything in code, for this tutorial we'll configure a few things in the editor. So let's go to our uh, ship docking station and we're just going to enable it on wake. And in the ships we need to make sure enable and wake is enabled for our ship AI input modules. And let's make sure our initial docking state is docked. We need to tell the docking station that our ships are already docked, so let's go to the docking station and let's assign the ships. So uh, this dot. Let's just choose the docking station. So this docking station needs to have the vector ship because that's hooked up to our camera. And let's look at the other docking station. Yep, and that has the correct ship assigned to it. Each ship has a docking adapter. This is the point at which a ship docks with a docking station. By default it's at the centre of the ship, which isn't that useful. So we'll need to change that. Uh, there's lots of other gizmos happening there, so let's just go up to the physics tab and turn those off. And now we can see if we click on the find, there is our, there's our docking point and we're just going to move it down to the bottom of the ship because that's where we want to dock and maybe back a little bit. And let's do that with the other ship as well. So again, just turn off those other gizmos to make it a bit easier. And let's just, whoops, and let's just click on the gizmo. Uh, if we get stuck, we can just go down and click. Uh, 
we just go down to the adapter and click find and then we can move it down there we go so to test our ship docking we have a small script that can be attached to the docking station so let's just go up to the docking station add our demo docking station script this script will tell our ships to take off and then land once they have departed from the hangar let's play the scene and see what happens So we can see the other ship has just finished the exit path and now it's coming back towards us to, well that was a bit close, good job uh, we have obstacle avoidance turned on. And now we should be hovering, getting to the hover point and then we'll have a go at landing and docking. And now we're docked. So that's all we have for this tutorial today and thank you for watching.